Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and I am here on the Geek Tech Industries server in Alpha 7. Um, I think this is like episode 17 of Alpha 7 on the GTI server. Uh, I think so. Um, anyway, today I'm going to show you what I did. So I was telling you last episode I was going to come back to dirt and so I put the, the old CV right here. The little tin can is just parked there off in the puddle with easy access to the ramp here. So I made this a lot bigger. Let's go up in here and I put a I put a uh, repair pad there. Um, so you can see I made it a lot bigger. And today what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in the big death trap. Yes, my big ugly death trap. So the origin of the CV I'm going to spawn in is it, it used to be my little clunky starter CV and I ripped it down um, and literally rebuilt, rebuilt it and it's basically a new revived edition. So let's spawn this in. We're going to go to the blueprints and there's my big death trap there. We're going to spawn that and oh right we've got to do it from over here. You can see it's an ugly ugly ship but oh heck I'll just go do it myself up a little bit. Come on. What's up with that? Good job. <clears throat> as soon as I started walking there, it paged down. That's weird. Okay, so I made the pad much bigger, as you can see. Hopefully there's no critters about. I don't see any. The clouds are just going down, really? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> or the uh, sun's just going down. Well, that's crappy timing, but uh, let's get this spawned in. And there we go. We can spawn it there, so we'll just do it. And there we go. So we've got a better combat CV here, and I'll, I'll take you on a little tour. So let's power this thing up. We can just do it through the control panel. I'm just going to fill it. Oh, well, I didn't have much on me, but enough for a bit. This thing has a large, <laughs> a whole bunch of fuel tanks and a whole bunch of auction. I should be able to oh, put a large chunk into it. Needed to fill so I can, I can turn it on. Yeah, that's good. So I can get oxygen going right now if I want. Well, I could fly it if I want. It's got lots of power now. Okay. So, the reason I want to power that up right away is because you'll see inside here. So, here we go. We got our hangar bay. It's a nice, large hangar door. You can see that I've got a big area. <clears throat> so, I can actually, you know what I can actually do in here? I can do something like this. Let's. I also decided to spawn in my heavy drill. It cost me a lot. <laughs> I don't have much left, but here we go. And boom. This little puppy is my pride. Now I do have to do some modifications to it. I'm going to really quick here change this up. Um, I'm actually going to let's disassemble these and actually I'll just take this top right down. 
Okay. And let's bring up these shutter doors again. And this time I want to make it the full size. Oh, is that right? Do I need to do the whole thing? Maybe? Do I? One, two. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. No, okay. So this is the right size. The largest one possible. Actually, I want to flip it so it's like this. Can I get it in there? Can I get it to sit? Can I get it to sit? Come on. Come on, can I get it to sit? Do I? Oh, yeah, there we go. And right like that. There we go. So I just wanted to change that up a bit so that... Uh, let's see. Let's see if that's going to be okay. We'll just jump in. And... Yeah, that should be fine. Yep. Wait, oh, do I get... No, I don't get stuck. Okay. No. No stuck? Okay. Um... Now, do I need to... No, there's a ventilator right there. Okay, so, yeah. This seat's three passengers in it. Now, I personally think I'm going to pop that passenger seat out. Uh, let's do that right now. This one here, or though I don't really need to because now I think about it, when I look on the outside of this thing, there's the O2 right there. There's a fridge right there too. Easily accessible. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. So I built these little hidey ho cubby holes here and they work quite well when attacking dudes if you don't want your your uh, HV doing a kind of blends in there eh? the same color anyway um, if you don't want your your ammo just pasting everything and you only want to kill a couple things to get something or whatever I don't know but this actually worked really well because it, it, it actually is quite easy. It guides you right into it. It's just boom, boom, jump, and well, whatever. I mean, I kind of jumped a little too hard there. I've got too many multi-boosts right now. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so I love this HV. This one has served me quite well. It's got mostly uh, lots of weapons on it and just, oh, it's all armor and it also has the drills in the front it's actually my best drill it it's super duper functional it can take on um, POIs and it can drill up deposits and so that I'll be taking that this is going to be my main HV I'm going to leave the other one behind I'm going to leave the other CV behind but I am going to take the bug eye bus with me because I really I, I think I'm really in love with that thing that I made it's it flies super nice. I think it's the nicest flying SV I've built so far. And it's and it's full featured. It's a warp multi everything, right? Like so it's a multi passenger box top style. So anyway, I'll probably go grab that and land that inside here because there's actually room to just keep it inside. Even though that this is a big H V, you can see how big this it's just, I got tons of room in here. I love this place. Love it. Okay. Or this uh, ship. Okay. Uh, here I've got the, it's kind of, that's a little kludgy. I know it was a, I couldn't figure out a better way to do that. But anyway, um, here's my little <laughs> shower change room. Uh, we've got uh, our emergency medical scanners and stuff. I'm missing a scanner by the look of it. I gotta get that scanner mounted. Anyway, um, up here into the bridge and we've got a repair station in O2 up here. We've got armor and a fridge. Uh, it's handy to have that stuff available from when you're 
doing stuff outside and, and from right here you can get up and outside and basically walk up the ship from here. So let's turn our light on. So here's the front of the ship. Um, it's got a drill on the front of course because I put drills on pretty much everything. I don't drill by hand if I don't need to. And you can see this thing's got <laughs> a lot <laughs> of guns. It's just a little... It's not that big for a CV. I mean, yeah, it's bigger than my starter, but this is just a mid, mid-size. Uh, heavy armor. Lots of guns. And it's good for a drop ship. Um, I can go into any atmosphere, drop, and come out even in the real high G stuff. I don't have to worry about uh, it trapping me there or anything. So, because I've I've flown this thing in every planet that I've made on the server so far, and it's handled it no problem. So, I'm gonna do that again. You can see it's got a quite the wide array of guns uh, pretty much uh, the full spectrum love these love 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 the pulse laser turrets by the way in space they are a workhorse let me tell you holy crap <clears throat> um, the oh is this one not got the okay I thought I put a pulse laser up there I'm going to get rid of that flak turret and put another pulse turret up there because or plasma turret I should say because uh, that's the only flak I don't think it's worth having even though it's got a wicked range because I've got the huge mega <coughs> CV ar artillery turrets on each side flanking this thing so it's got two of the big giant turrets on it that can shoot straight forward and down and up and straight down and straight back so it, it's um, it's actually effective it's quite it works quite well uh, yeah so there's the I call it my big death trap <clears throat> and I'll show you the um, the lounge area garden so yeah, there's a lounge and garden up in the mezzanine here, and there's an engineering bay up top. So we'll head up there. So here's the lounge and garden. For those of you who haven't seen the ship before in a different series, so it comes with uh, a full-grown garden, because that's the way I captured it <clears throat> when I uh, blueprinted it. Um, so yeah, it's it's ready to harvest and make you vegetables and bandages and and whatever you want, right? So you can swap out whatever you want; it doesn't really matter. But uh, there you go. It has it's a self-sustaining CV really for one person. It it keeps up with my food problems, no problem. Actually, I end up building a surplus. So. If I start with enough, I'll never run out of food with this thing. It's awesome. So it's got a array of um, appliances up here. And we'll go check out engineering. So this is the engineering bay up here. And I'm going to be careful of the warp because you don't want to step past this red door. If you do, you'll see that, oh, 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 I'm already 90 degrees there. That was cooking. 90. Ouch. So I've also got a uh, pilot seat up here. Just, <clears throat> it's actually to, easier to pop up here really quick if I'm in the lounge picking vegetables as opposed to, I mean, I guess I could have put it in the lounge. It's just, eh. I didn't want to put it in the lounge. It was more appropriate to put it up here. You know what I'm saying? It just, eh, a pilot seat in the lounge, that sucks. But <clears throat> up here, it's more appropriate. Sure, you should be able to, uh, as an emergency cockpit, fly something from the engineering. Why not? Makes sense, right? Right? 
It's got all the everything you need to. Anyway, okay. So yeah, that's the ship in a nutshell. <clears throat> And we're going to be stocking this thing up right now. I've actually got a whole bunch of bullets made and on the way and missiles. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to take the... Oh, I don't have any energy on me. Let me go get a, a stack of energy, a fuel. So we'll jump out here. If we not die. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, so basically this thing I'm just going to park and leave for whatever. It's the backup drill. It works really well too. Um, it's good for digging big holes fast, but it on deposits it's okay the other one works really good on on meteorites the heavy drill wow it's just it's awesome for that so let's grab our stuff out of here that i've been making look at that mm, yummy 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 uh so i think what we'll do first is ooh, we're getting we're getting low on promethium i think we should go use the HV and get some Prometheum. And I'll show you. I'll show you. We'll find a Prometheum meteorite here on dirt and we'll mine it up. So let's let's uh, get some get a stack of fuel. Oh, I got a whole bunch of ma made here. So there, we'll grab that and that and that and we'll let that continue to cook. And we'll put some of this away here. So I don't need that much. That's plenty. Uh, I don't even need that. Okay, so antidote pills. Oh yeah, this T2 laser. I don't have any ammo made for it yet, so we'll just put this here for now. We're doing got an ammo. Ammo? I don't have ammo. Okay, well let's make ammo. And I don't have my minigun on me, so let's put that away. Um, and ammo weapons, ammo weapons, yeah, let's do that. Weapons and put that in there too. Okay. Uh, I'll come back for it later. Uh, you know what? I should have put all that on the CV. No, I think I put it. Just, um, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Just ignore me. Okay, I got the fuel. Let's go take the HV out. Should I grab some food? Do I got any on me? No, so I've got a ton here on the face. Oh canned up already <laughs> as you can see so I'll just eat some of that and we'll just need a few that'll be plenty and let's go we don't need any guns I got handguns oh actually you know what I I will take the bullets now I think about it I put a bunch in the builder to I'll take a bunch of these for sure if there are critters, then I need to kill them. Actually, I'll leave some. Well, that's fine. I'll just take them. I'll, just take them. I'll put a bunch in the. And that's HV, HV, HV. Why not? I'll just take it now. I don't need them yet, but I'm over a thousand there. That's good. It's eating up a whole bunch of cobalt. And the. Um, the ammunition for the CV is eating up a whole bunch of a restroom right now. Like, holy crap. Super expensive. So we're going to have to go get more of that sooner or later. So restroom and cobalt and iron and promethium are the four things that are seem to be getting it, eaten up right now with, uh, with ammo. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure 
depending on what other weapons you're using, that might be quite a bit different. But currently, what I'm equipping is the missiles for this thing, the 15 mil bullets for both, and uh, the laser pulse laser turrets, um, and the rockets for the CV2. I'm cooking those up. So anyway, in the time being, let's manage this. So you can see what it needs. It needs all those different types. Although I'm thinking of taking, removing the flak turret and just putting another um, um, plasma turret on it. Okay, so let's put 1500, 3, 4500. Um, I'm thinking even more than that. Let's do 6,000 on there. And we'll go 4,000 on the HV because it has a whole bunch of missiles too, which are devastating. So let's do that. So we'll put that in here. And let's go into manage. So let's just fill that right up. And we will go back and we'll just fill that. Oh, we got no, all right, we got no oxygen. Well, it doesn't matter. This is an oxygenated planet for now. We'll just, we'll just run around. And, um, and then I'll hit fill all. So we've got 4,920. That's good. That's good for now. So we've got some funky stuff with the turrets. So that's the other thing. Let's... Um, oh, crap, yeah. Before a whole bunch of predators come out, let's, okay, that's off, good. We'll leave that off for now. Okay, but this, we want to go into and fix these turrets up. I don't want them shooting at everything with costly ammunition. I don't want predators. Um... I'm not going to worry about warp drives or generators or even thrusters. Turret mounted weapon, mounted weapon. Yeah, okay. That should be good for my rockets. So I want to get rid of that, 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 that. Oops. Okay, and then um, minigun, pretty much the same thing. We'll just do the same thing. So the reason I don't really necessarily want to take out the warp drive and thruster and generators, I, I, I might want something left over after to multi-tool. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> no, it's because if I get too close to a base, uh, well, the th not necessarily the thruster unless it's one of the crashed CVs, but if I get too close to a base, it, it wails away at going for the generator, and that, that can be annoying. I mean, I, I guess that's not bad if that's your, if that's what you're going to do is just you know select alien and generator and just go up to the side of a base and let your missiles plow through until it hits all the generators and shuts the base down. Sure, I guess that's a valid way of doing stuff. Sure. <clears throat> Um, you know, they did remove the core option off there, so I guess that's the other alternative, is generator. Anyway, I think we'll go show you guys how good this thing is at mining. <clears throat> so let's back out of here. Very nice, very nice. So, 
You can, you can see this thing even sounds cool because it's all of those jet engines. Oh, or yeah, my big turret's all pissed off at something. <laughs> I don't have him loaded. <laughs> Look at him there. Okay, that's enough fun and games. Let's do something about that. Artillery turret. We're going to get rid of predator. Uh, warp drive, thruster, and generator. I mean, ideally, I guess I would just do generator alien on the artillery turret. And then let it punch out the generator, right? Because it has the best chance. It can really do some damage. Uh, anyway. We'll leave it at that for now. Now it's all crooked. Ugh. Don't want to fly around with it crooked. Move it. <laughs> Just because. Don't judge me. Okay. There we go. Um, so we need to find Prometheum. So let's head east. <coughs> and we'll pick up Cobalt. Um, what else? What else was I getting low on? Oh, iron. We'll, we'll grab iron. So, oh, there are those some over That's something over there. Yeah, there's some over there. Oh, that looks like a long, flat one, like a Prometheum. Oh, what's this? What's this? This is... This is... Obviously have hit F6, so Cobalt. Okay, good. Let's do this. So, we'll just zap it. Just hold down my finger. And you can see the Cobalt flying in there, down on the left-hand side. So, it's well over 100 Cobalt that's mine now. See, um, see how long this takes and how much we get. So, that's what time it is. Okay. So, it's, it's pulling it in really good. Staying as close as I can. You can see how the six focus ones really keep centered on the the meteorite. Also, to tell you the truth, it drills holes really fast because you can really carve out dedicated chunks quite quickly with the six focus drills on the front. Uh, I, I actually noticed that this is easier to drill with the big, big holes with them than my other one. Even though the other one, you can just lock it into a position and then just drill forward, and it'll drill a big hole. It's just this one, you can, like, you can do it just as fast, but you're, you have to be really active and move around and, and spin around. But it's a real agile HV, so it, it can do it. huge portion of it is all RCS's basically. I forget how many it's got on it. Let's take a look. Um, what do we got? Where does it say that? It'll in statistics. It's got... Uh, come on. RCS. There it is. 33 of them. <laughs> Yeah, it's a class 1 HP, but it's got 33 OCS. Because I want to be able to just go like this, move my mouse, and literally pivot on my nose and without even touching my keyboard or anything. There we go. So, that's why I like lots of RCS. Oops, did I just get stuck? That's funny. So, what happens when you get stuck? You just hit O. And you 
kind of cool. Well, I guess that blew my time. So I screwed around there. Eh. We'll see. Oh, now I got a little hole in the front, so let's move over. Laser drills can kind of pitch you around sometimes a little bit, but not as bad as what the T1 drills do. Those ones can like flip your HV out the ground. It's all and, uh, like jam on something and just like bounce you around. It, it can be aggravating. And the T1 drills don't work very good on the new deposits, on the little meteorites that are down in the down in the deposit, it's, they have a tough time with them. At least I kind of struggle with them. But with the with the laser ones, the laser it just has to get close enough to it to touch it. Boom. Okay, so we'll pop pretty quick here. Starting to hit the earth here. Where is it? How big is it? It's right there. And there it goes. Okay, so that looks like Prometheum over there. And we've got some magnesium. I should probably do that. So that was, oh. Uh, that was just a little over three minutes with some horsing around too, and let's take a look what we got. So we've got our God, noisy spider. Okay, let's go into our cargo box, and so we ended up with um, wow, um, just shy of two thousand ore which is just shy of 4,000 ingots. So, wow, you know, that's awesome. That, that, that totally recoups all the, easily recoups all the, um, the cobalt that I just fried on ammo. Oh yeah, let's get this from me again. So, I know this is kind of a boring episode, but you know, we spawned in a couple vehicles and I got a request on them. Just wanted to show this HV off. This is one of my, it, personally, I think this is probably my best built vehicle in my own opinion to date. Um, I think it also looks the coolest out of all the vehicles. I'm including all my different types of ships and builds so far. I like this little HV the best. It's super versatile. I'll probably pop the artillery turret off and put a multi-tool turret on it personally right now. And I'll just throw the uh, the artillery turret in the cargo bay when I do need it. And I'll carry around enough artillery with me. You know, like a hundred or something. That's all you need. One small stack. So you can still you can still use it for combat when you when you want to, but you don't need to. And it works quite well as a drill. It's also got a drill turret on the back. Uh, if they've improved those, then that'll be good. I mean, personally, I didn't think they were that great. And in um, when I tried them in the release candidate, they didn't seem that great. So I haven't tried it again, and we will again here. But not on this planet because there's no deposits, it's just meteorites. So we'll, once we get to another planet, I'll, I'll use the drill and we'll see how it is. But um, I, I don't have my hopes high. I just left it on there as for now. I, think. I can always throw it into the factory and it spawn something else, I guess. I don't know. But, um, 
if I wanted to get all the uh, restroom or the, the real expensive ores out of it, I could throw it into like a real cheap uh, blueprint that only requires a few things, you know what I'm saying, and then it'll strip all the ore out, leave that as ingots for you, so that might be an idea. It's one way of recouping stuff, especially if you looted it uh, really early on in game. You can, you can throw that into your factory, and if it didn't actually need any of those materials, it'll spit it back out as ingots. So that's kind of cool. Let's see how much Promethean will just break in it. That was a pretty good size Promethean meteorite, too, so that's should be uh, a decent haul here. Really what I should do, folks, is I should just take the HV around the planet and get a couple of meteorites of each type and bring all that onto the new seed, right? And then go up into space and get a bunch of Neo and Sap. And then we should go pick up some Arrestrium and Zascosium, I don't know, from Oscatoon or something, or, hmm, there are those other <coughs> sectors just off of Hidden Sanctuary, I think maybe we'll go check those out. We do want to go back to Oscar, or, uh, we need to go back to Omicron, or, well, we need to go to Omicron and get the quest done to lead us to Maskron. So we've got a lot to do still. We've got a lot to do. But we're making huge, huge steps today. Today was not a baby step. Today was a, a giant leap forward in the game. You know, when you spawn your first mid-size combat exploration CD, it's, it's one of those monumental points to the game where you can start taking on endgame stuff. And and getting really good stuff, and you know, doing all the uh, the fun stuff instead of just mining and lo and uh, and looting civilian POIs. So that was a magnesium. Oh, I might as well take it. Well, guys, you know, I think I need to just keep mining all these asteroids or these. Uh, meteorites and take it all back to the CV uh, and load up the CV and then get get it all prepped for the next episode where we take it we take it somewhere or you know what I'll, I'll take it up into space too and, and even mine out Zap and, and Neo so it's all stocked up um, that's all boring stuff but then we'll take it um, Maybe we'll go smash a space POI with it. Hmm? Yeah. And install a multi-tool turret on it to multi-tool it down. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, guys. Well, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, you can get these vehicles are on the... Steam Workshop under my uh, Steam alias of Zlot and uh, spelled with uh, um, two E's, two L's, one O, and two T's. So, this is the genuine stuff, the GTI heavy drill. Uh, you can also get the, um, the big death trap if you choose to spawn that too i i love it it handles awesome for a small medium medium small combat cv uh, i'm not sure how they're in pvp probably not bad it's got a good bulkhead to it and just a ton of weapons so well guys you guys have yourselves an awesome day and I will see you on the next episode.